Number 69, identify the type of crystalline solid, whether it's a metallic or a network covalent, an ionic or a molecular crystalline solid formed by each of the following substances. And then we have carbon in the graphite form, which is basically what you use for pencils, graphite. Now, there's four different types of crystalline solids. We just have to figure out which one carbon graphite is. I wrote down a little cheat sheet down here for you guys to memorize for your next quiz or test, but we'll work from left to right just to pinpoint what type of crystalline solid this is. So is it a metallic crystalline solid? Well, the word metal is in the word metallic. So in order to be a metallic crystalline solid, you have to just see a single metal. But on the periodic table, carbon is totally a nonmetal. And the word graphite is just showing you what type of form that carbon is. But it's a nonmetal. No metals here, so it can't possibly be a metallic crystalline solid. So we move on. It, is it an ionic crystalline solid? Well, ionic comes from an ionic compound. Remember, all the way in the beginning of chem, ionic compounds is a metal plus a nonmetal, or if you start seeing polyatomics. And I just have a single nonmetal here. So ionic is out. Is it a molecular crystalline solid? Well, molecular crystalline solid comes from molecules, and molecules come from covalent compounds. So we're dealing with just nonmetals, which I have here, right? So it could be a molecular crystalline solid, but let's just see if it fits the network covalent crystalline solid, which is basically the equivalent of a metallic crystalline solid, but just the non-metal version versus the metal version. In a metallic crystalline solid, you should have just saw one metal, kind of like copper or iron. In a network covalent, you should just see a single non-metal. And here, I got a single non-metal. It's not like C2 or C3. It's a single one element that is a non-metal. So this fits the bill of being a network covalent crystalline solid. And let's box this off. Just know that the other criteria for being a network crystalline solid is network covalent crystalline solid is if you start seeing silicon. But here we didn't have any silicon. And just to reinforce that it is not the molecular one, you needed to see more than one nonmetal, which we didn't see here. We just had the one nonmetal. And that's it. I hope this helped. Thanks for tuning in. Love helping you guys out. Um, and yeah, keep working hard. Always keep learning. That's how you get better. And yeah, proud of you guys. All right. And thank you for being part of this community. You guys rock. Good luck on your tests and quizzes. And if you wouldn't mind, please hit the subscribe button. Thank you so much for all your support throughout this whole journey. And I'll talk to you soon. Okay, bye-bye.